starting? Okay, we can start now, yes. Sorry? Okay, go ahead, yes. Uh, what, what's, I, I'm very blessed to have this opportunity to explain and, and tell about my life after I had seen the Virgin Mary at Zaytun and how I was able to be there at the moment when she appeared in 1968. In, in the very beginning, when I first heard about this in April of 1968, we were living in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and my husband had the students over from the university. They were having their um, meeting, their prayer meeting for the week, and all of them were praying and carrying letters and asking, have you heard that the Virgin Mary appeared in Egypt? They were telling one another about the news at that time, how she was appearing at the church in Zaytun, and I felt I would be able one day to be there, perhaps to see her myself. And then I had sort of forgot about it in July. I said to my husband, I'm ready to go to Egypt now. I'll take Nagy or Mark, my son, and we'll visit. And so when I arrived in Egypt, I had not quite remembered that the Virgin Mary was appearing. And all of a sudden, when I was visiting uh, George's sister in Benswave, which is quite far from Cairo, we went to bed at night and in the room where we were was this big window wide open and I was thinking, well, someone might come in there during the night, isn't that? How can they leave it open all night? And I saw the, the cupola or the top of the Coptic Orthodox Church framed in the window and it came back to me that the Virgin Mary was appearing in at Zaytun in Egypt and I ran to my sister-in-law and asked her, how come you didn't tell me, or what's happening in Zaytun? She said, oh yes, she's still appearing, and we'll go back and see her. So she took, we went back finally on the train back to Cairo, and they took me to Zaytun for about nine o'clock until we stayed till, not, until about four or five in the morning. And on the very first night, the first four, I had not seen anything. I didn't even see any of the pigeons they spoke about, but the people were praying and it was wonderful to be there and just hear the prayers of the people. And, and when I didn't go the, the fifth day, I went to visit His Holiness, Pope Corollas VI. And he, of course, during my conversation with him, I asked him, when am I going to see the Virgin Mary? He said, tonight you'll see her, tonight. And I said to my sister, no, well, I must go back to Zaytun tonight. And so that was the fifth night that I had spent there, but I did see her about four o'clock in the morning. We were sitting and suddenly I heard the people crying and raising their arms and praying and calling to the Mother Mary. And I looked up and there was this beautiful circle of blue uh, around this white light. And in the white light was the Virgin Mary who was standing and I saw her as she moved her hands into a position as if to bless the people. She was above the big zone, uh, dome at that time. And then she was there for a short time but she disappeared and she returned one more time. And then on the um, next three nights that I did go, I did see her on the third night again, where she, she came and stood as a person on the flat of the roof between the small um, domes on the corners. She came over to the edge of the church and as if she, her whole person went down over the edge of the church and she turned and it's like she moved into the wall of the church. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. And she looked so real. And then she disappeared, of course. And that was the time I went to the church eight nights and out of the two, uh, eight nights I saw her these two times. Yeah. And since that time I've been moved to 
tell her story as best I could of how she came. And I spent 33 years giving lectures and showing my slides to small groups. Mostly on the East Coast, we moved to New Jersey after we had lived in Minnesota. And I was able to get the story, even I was asked to be on television a couple of times, which was a great thing for me to do, but I managed and was able to get my book printed after 33 years, telling what I felt and what I could, the pictures I got from people and, and different things that were so beautiful. And everyone was so interested and so grateful to hear. Some people wanted to promote me and help me with my work, but I was quite stubborn. I kept, mm -hmm. <laughs> kept it for myself. Yes. <laughs> so I did it according to what the church would have me do. So now these days, it's 50 years later, and I, I just can just read this quickly of how I feel what she has done for me. I've had 50 years to contemplate, pray, and give thanks and remember this moment of the Mother Mary's visit at St. Mary Coptic Orthodox Church in Zaytun, Egypt. In the coming 50 years anniversary celebration soon, we remember the joy of this visit. We find her appearances from that time a blessing and great healing for all time. She spoke to no one so that she could speak to everyone. As in the scriptures, we find God chose Mary to be the mother of his son, Jesus Christ, and Mary said yes. Now God, our Father in heaven, sends to Mother Mary, who by her appearances of who she is and what she did, she is saying yes again to us. Mm. At that time in Zaytun, during these days of her appearing in 1968 and 72, each person who saw her, thousands saw her, I saw her, it was a gift from God for everyone. If there at Zaytun all could see her, except a few who told their experiences later, having experienced a blessing that most couldn't explain, the mother of Jesus brought love for all of us. And thank you for letting me share my experience with you. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Phil, very much.